Hey guys, Chris from HockeyTutorial.com and today we're at Riverside Ice and Leisure and we're going to be taking a look at how to go backwards for beginners. So this video was requested by one of the viewers on YouTube who suggested the different tutorials that we've already posted on going backwards might be a little bit too complex if you're learning how to skate and go backwards for the first time. Being able to cross over isn't something that you're supposed to learn instantly as soon as you start learning how to go backwards. You need to learn how to build the momentum, how to get comfortable going backwards and that's what we're going to look at today. So the first point you need to keep in mind, as always, with anything that you practice on the ice is going to be the athletic stance, which consists of having a wide base, feet about shoulder width apart or just over, knees bent over the toe caps of your skates, keeping your chest up, shoulders square to the ice and head up to make sure that your weight isn't getting over your toes or over your heels. Keeping the low base, having the kneecaps bent over the toe caps of your skates, uh, gives you a more control, low centre of gravity, which equals much more control while you're practicing on the ice, which is going to be essential when you're going backwards. So the first point you want to start off with, just to get used to the motion of going backwards, is to have your hands, keeping the athletic stance that we talked about, put both your hands against the barriers like so, make sure that your knees are bent over. In terms of where your weight is, in this position when you're going backwards, you want the weight to be sort of around the balls of your feet, not at your heel, or if your heels dig in, you're going to go straight over. So keep the weight around the balls of your feet for improved control while you're going backwards. To direct your weight more towards the front portion of your skates, do this by leaning a little bit more forward while you're in your athletic stance than you normally would. The way you can gauge this is by having your shoulders slightly more over the top of your skates than they normally would be when you're in your athletic stance. The more you push your shoulders forward over the tops of your skates, the more your weight will be directed towards the front portion of the skates. And all you want to do is stand in that athletic stance and push yourself backwards Keeping in that knee bend, not bobbing up and down, to just give you a sense of what it feels like to go backwards, and also so you can get used to having your weight distributed around the front portion of your skates. So just repeat the process of pushing yourself off of the barriers until you're comfortable with the motion of going backwards without sort of shaking and wobbling around, until you can keep yourself in that nice athletic stance while you're going backwards, keeping the weight control to the set, or directed rather, towards the front portion of your skates. That will sort of help you and become more confident while you're going backwards. After you've gotten used to the whole pushing motion, as we showed you earlier, athletic stance, maintaining that low um, center of gravity, pushing out. As we get used to this, what you want to try and doing from this point is adding some lemons in. And what the lemons are is basically when you push yourself going backwards, you want to push your skates out and pull them back in. You just want to repeat this motion as it will sort of um, create the or generate the movement or motion of you actually going backwards. So pushing yourself off is what's made you go backwards. But if you start off with these lemons while you're slowly um, moving backwards, it actually sort of continues and allows you to continue moving backwards. It creates the whole motion. So what you want to do is just practice that. And the way that that works is that you're going to be leaning on the skates inside edges, which are these edges on these sides over here. These are the outside edges. You're going to be pushing out to the sides and then pulling them in with your leg muscles to bring them back together again. Pushing them out and then pulling in. And as you can see, if I repeat that, you can see I'll move backwards. Once you've gotten used to doing this, what you want to try and do is try and repeat this motion with only one skate at a time. So imagine I've pushed myself off the barriers, one skate at a time using the inside edges to push me backwards. And you can see what this does, it creates a C-cut in the ice, which is often referred to as the C-cut, which is one of the best ways to learn how to go backwards from the beginning. So a quick demonstration of how this would look of me pushing myself off. I push off the barriers, I use the inside edge, push out to the side, Inside edge, push out to the side, and you can see that it's making me go backwards as I'm doing this, which allows me to go backwards. So after you've gotten used to doing the lemons going backwards, which is just moving your feet out and then in as we showed you previously, you want to try and doing that with one foot at a time. You can start by doing very, very small movements with each foot just to get you used to it. A quick example of that would be like this, just pushing out to the side. And then after you're fully used to that, you want to get yourself going backwards with the lemon like we showed you, and then push out with C-cuts to the side. 
So as always guys, once you've mastered or learnt how to go backwards, the feeling of going backwards, and you've also learnt how to control your weight. As we said, when you're going backwards, you want your weight directed to the front portion of your skates. The next thing that you can learn to do is do the C-cuts, which is a slightly um, more improved or harder way of going backwards that, generates a lot, that can generate a lot of speed depending on how you use it. And after you've gotten used to that, the next point is to progress onto the crossovers. But the main point of shooting this video, which is a somebody that, um, something that someone commented on one of the um, previous videos that we've done, which was the crossovers, is that if you're learning how to go backwards the first time, it's best to start with this method first, progress onto the C cuts, and after you've mastered that, that's when you'll be then confident enough to attack the backwards crossovers. It's um, very difficult to just bounce from nothing straight onto the backwards crossovers, so I definitely recommend learning this method first, progressing onto the C cuts, and then backwards crossovers. As you improve, as you learn how to get the momentum of you going backwards, control yourself, um, your balance, and of course your confidence. So hopefully this has helped you guys out. As always, be sure to follow us at HockeyTutorial.com on the Facebook page, and also on Twitter. All of the links will be in the video description and be sure to follow the ice rink which is Riverside Ice and Leisure on their Facebook and Twitter page all of that information will be down below and if you've gotten past this and you learned how to do the um, backwards seat cuts and you want to learn how to do the backwards crossovers there'll be a video in the annotation above and also one down below that teaches you how to do the backwards crossovers be sure to follow the rest of the videos that we do by subscribing on YouTube and take care till next time thanks for watching